Hi guys, my name is Mike. I'm a guest appearance today. Uh, I'm going to be showcasing the Android build. Um, so, right off the bat, you got the OG Android leader, the one that reduces costs for uh, Android 17 and 18. Don't 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 mind the master the master Roshi. He's just he's just there. Um, so this this leader's broken. I still think it's broken. So basically, off the bat, you run cheap androids. There's no cell chain, there's no Super 17 chain, it's just cheap android builds. Um, so, you start off with the freezes. Freezes are good because you don't need to interact with your opponent. You can just play the card for the first uh, turn, take a life, you're already closer to awakening and drawing you two more cards. Um, energy Guard Android 17 is a great second uh, turn uh, play because his uh, cost is reduced, he's a blocker, you can apply pressure because it stands back up at the end of your turn. Only downside is he doesn't have barrier or any sort of protection from just getting popped right off the board. Um, next card you got Deadly Defender 18, gorgeous gorgeous card for this deck, you can't go wrong with it. It basically stops the, uh, them from attacking your leader for two, um, and then after you awaken she just becomes 20 automatically, 25 during your turn. You, it's really hard to get rid of her because you'll just combo away. I'll explain that later. Um, Limitless Energy Android 17. Great, great card again because also the reduction. Um, comes on board, pops something, barrier blocker. Can't be popped itself unless, you know, you need cards that exclude barrier. Um, then we start going to the counters. Uh, shopping Death Ball just because it's better than speedy attack, I feel. And just for this deck, with the sparking, if you can do it before Ymira, that's also great because you take the life. King Vegeta's Surprise Attack. Now this is the card that really sets this deck off. Um, it is a match made in heaven with Android 18. All you have to do is leave one green open, they come after her. You just do that, they get stuck because now she's either 25 for turn or she's 30 for turn with revenge. And normally, you don't want to go after that after you already attempted to put your resources into the killer in the first place. Um, Infernal Cell is just basically draw one super combo that doesn't have super combo printed on it. Um, the defensive stance Piccolo, I feel, is better than the um, Stout Hearted 8 or uh, 16s just because. You automatically get the 10,000 anytime you have to use it, and necessarily making your opponent drop a card isn't always the greatest. If you can resource yourself, other than desort resourcing your opponent, that's sometimes better. Um, the Deadful Drew Duo Android 17 is good because it's a two drop critical for 15 that also becomes 20 when you're awakened. But if you get the effect off, the one green during that turn, if an opponent's battle card with an energy cost of three or less has uh, been placed in the dropped area by one of your skills, choose a one injured 18 with an energy cost of three or less uh, from your hand and play it. So if you can get that off really early and you still have that one energy open, guess what? You just played uh, your deadly defender for one. That, that is great. Um, Android 20, the vile creator, is awesome for this deck. I only run two because it's a plus one and it might hurt things. But the greatest thing about it is that when you combo with this card, if you're a uh, green android, it gains 5,000 and double strike for the duration of the turn. That is great because of the next card. Inferno Forge Hellfire 17. You give this thing double strike, it's becoming 29, yeah, 29,000 for the turn uh, dual attack double strike. That's good. You can't go wrong with that. Um, the blue package down here, I run four beans, two Mufubas, and two Wizzes. The reason why is so kind of self-explanatory, just to keep going and keep tempo. Um, the beans keep you going, the Mufuba shuts things down, the other autos still go off, that's stupid rolling, but um, it still shuts things down and lets you keep going in your game. Wiz cohesions are great because you can use the blue and then untap that blue to a green to then King Vegeta surprise attack them. 
So you negated the first attack, now you're revenging the second attack if they're gonna keep coming after any of your androids. And then Mira, kind of self-explanatory again, it's the greatest uh, overwhelm card in the game to this point, other than Demigra, but you can only run run Demigra, you can run it's four of these if you want. Um, the only downside with this is you gotta watch out, it's an android, but it doesn't work with the Vile Creator because it's not green. So you just gotta remember that while you're playing. But other than that, this deck is cheap, it runs fast, it can maintain itself during the match, and you don't see a kill condition technically other than the mirrors, but you apply a lot of pressure with this deck constantly because either they're gonna spend resources trying to kill your stuff, or you're just gonna be applying pressure all the time with your boosted up androids. And that should pretty much be it. Thanks for having me on. Take care. Thanks, guys. This is Russ. Um, thanks to Mike for being on the channel. This is wherever at Bottom Dollar TZ. Check us out on Facebook, Twitch, and all that kind of stuff. There's also a link down in the description. You can check out the Broly giveaway that's going on for a couple more days by the time you're seeing this. Check it out, and I will see you guys in the next video. Have a great day. Okay, Russ out. Peace.